What is going on guys? Mining for Goblin Guide. Today we're going back to Monorid Blitz or Monorid Prowess. Let's get into it. So for today's video, we're gonna play a Monorid Prowess or Monorid Blitz deck. This is the nation deck list from Stankly, a tier 3 Patreon uh, that decided that he wants to need to play this list. So thank you very much, Stankly, for the donation. Um, he told me to modify the list as I wanted. So I took the like original idea of the list and I just uh, changed some few things. So he uh, was running this, except that he had Iron Mesa. And I just decided to put Blossom Mire because it's just a better fetch right now, considering the decks. Uh, makes you be a little more fooled by Mishra's Bubble Iron Mesa. Uh, sorry, Blossom Mire. <clears throat> After that, he had four Fire Islet. I just decided to make the split of Sun Bay Canyon and Fire Islet. He had three uh, Flame Rifts. I just decided to cut one Flame Rift to bring one more Mishra's Bubble because I do think when you're playing a prowess deck, you don't want to have too many um, two mana spells. Right now we have Mana Morphoid, which is free, which is fine, and uh, two Flame Rifts, but also three Bedlam, which is a lot. So we want to have just two, I think it's fine. Mishra's Bubble is a free card and helps us with our Delirium because we are running four Dragon Rage Channeler uh, as our creatures. Chandler, Swiss Spear, and Soul Scar Mage. As our instance, we got Mana Morphorce, Dart, and Bolt. And our sorceries Light Up, Crash Through, Lava Spike, and Flame Rift. And as our finisher, we've got some Bedlams. For the sideboard, uh, he was running four Blood Moon. I decided to cut one of them to add a Kozilex Return because I do think four Blood Moon is a little much. Uh, I think three is fine. And finally, I decided to swap the Smash of Smithereens for a braid because in a Blitz type deck, um, you want to have a potentially a, de a deal three to target creature just to be able to swing with your creatures. Being able to swing with your creatures is more important than in the burn deck. So a braid over smashes. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the list. Uh, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. All right, round number one, uh, I think that's a keep. Have two lines, creature, bubble. Uh, okay, well, let's start with a ch channeler and a bubble trigger. I don't think my channeler is gonna live another day, so just gonna use it as a, a surveil. Yep, so that coming, let's see what you draw. Arctic Mage Charm. So I'm guessing this is Merktide. Um, so Swiss Spear. Uh, Crush True. Have another removal. Consider. Okay. Okay, don't bolt my Swiss Spear, please. Nice, so hopefully they don't have a third line and we're not gonna charm my Swiss Spear. Okay, sad. I think my Spear must be a little my Swiss Spear is going away, so might as well just attack for one. Yep, you got it. Just going to crash through, cycling this. I think I have Delirium, Sorcery, Land, Artifact creature. Yep. Ragavan. Aligned. Thanks, Ragavan. I appreciate it.
Okay, that's pretty good. Channeler. Lava dirt. Oh. One, two, three. Uh, four. Yeah, I think we have to grave this. Actually, no, we don't have to cast it next turn. Uh, f oh yeah, because of light up the stage, I wanted to light up the stage after. Man, that's awkward. Yeah, grave. And I wanted to lava dart the Ragavan anyway, so I'm not gonna have enough like early on. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let's say I put it on top. It's going to cost me. I have one, two, three, four. I want to play like. I want to play these two. So. <sighs> yeah. Fortunate. Okay, please, these are pretty good. Two blue Merc Tide. One, two, three. Okay. Seven, seven. I'm just gonna use my uh, Dragon Rage as much as much as I can before it dies. So Spike, I need burn spells to win this game. Basically, I think I just put everything that is not a burn spell. Have six, seven. I think I swing with my Swiss Spear, see if they want to block it. Oh. Sure. Wow. Wow. I can kill the Murktide. Yeah. One, two... Three, so this becomes plus three plus three, but I don't have to do that. I can kill the Ragavan also. So sure, and I can have bunch of surveil. Uh, no. So I need 
another one. Uh, this goes on top. Uh, and I need one last one to kill the Ragavan. Actually, do I want that on top? Yeah, if, no, actually I don't because I cannot even cast it right now. So, yeah. I I cast one too much, Lava, Lava Dart. Yeah, it was my bad. Actually, keeping one in my grave would have been... Would have been better. Okay, go. Very interesting that they offered me that trade, considering Murktide is like one of the way I, will, I lose this game. And if they have another one, it's only going to be a 4-4. Four, four. So they have another one. Oh, three, three. Okay. Oh, they have two. Oh my God, they only they have three Murtides. Okay, that's why they did that. So I take uh, eight, nine. I guess I have to do that. Go. Draw a lightning bolt. They've got any prowess. I'm dead. Oh, this gives me the opportunity to not die. Oh, okay. If I drew Bolt, I could, like, this gave me a chance. It gave me an out. Unless they had a counter spell. But this gave me an out. Okay, so. Uh, Solga Lantern. Uh, don't really need anything else. <laughs> uh, those Merc Tides are going to be a problem, but I don't have anything for them. I think just take out one Bedlam, perhaps. And maybe, like, crashing, crash through. Because I'm not going to get bigger than the Murtides. Uh, yeah. And they're probably going to take out some copies of Ragavan, because I have four darts in my deck. Thing. That would be wrong to just keep in all the four rag events. Mm, sure. Feel the I feel like this deck is not too bad. Maybe for a budget, but the f the blood moon over having Luris and access to white, I think, is really a lack. Of the deck, like having Lurus plus Boris Charm, um, the Flaking Palm path in your sideboard, the thing is a little more, is like too important to have. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I 
Really? He had three lines in our opening. We drew one, two, three, four. No, three, sorry. They're gonna charm my Swiss spear. Damn, that's tough. They have like four bolts, four on the holy heat, probably like four charms. It's tough to to get through that. Okay, that's a card. Cost six right now. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna hold a counter spell for the rest of the game, so my bedlam is not gonna do much. So many lands. We already have six of our ten mountains. Counter. Counter it. What do I do? Do I wait? Can't really wait. It's have they got Ragavan. Uh if I wait, I think it's gonna be too tough. Why? They probably have multiple counter spells anyway. Just gonna take one of their out of their hand. They got us another. <laughs> yeah, we just lost to Mana Flood. We literally drew almost all of our lines in our deck. We have six, uh, sorry, seven lines on the battlefield and two in the grave. So that's nine, that's literally half of our lines. All right, that was really a rough, rough one. Uh, let's get to the next. All right, uh, we're on the play this time. Uh, yeah, we can keep. Okay, uh, mage go. Burn. Okay. Spike our face, that's a good sign. So it's good. Means it's gonna be tough to kill both our our creatures next turn. Okay. If these two survive, we are gonna have a lot of damage coming through. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eidolon. What are you doing here? Get out of my way. Okay, I Eidolon. Uh, 
Do I just take six damage here? I think that's fine. I think I'm just literally going to take six here from the Adolin. Because I think we did not do the math, but it's going to be pretty close to lethal. going to do the math just after this second dart. So, 2, 9, plus uh, 6. So, 2, plus 9, 11, plus 6. Uh, pretty close, but not lethal. But I, th I think we still... Actually, we can just crash through. Might as well. And we're at 11, so we're not gonna die. But what am I saying? I just... Okay, I did the math totally wrong. These were going to be like... All 5-5s. Five 5-power. Five no, that's fine. That, that was 17. Okay. Never mind. That was 17. So they would be down to 2. Okay. Oh, that's lethal now. Burn. Eidolon did 6 damage to us. Still managed to get through. Alright. Alright. Boros Burn. I heard about that deck somewhere. Uh, Dragon's Law, Path Path, Flame Roof is really bad. <clears throat> Sorry. On the draw, I think I'm gonna bring two braids for those pesky idle ones. Oh no, sorry, I'm gonna bring Herod Spell Bomb for Sanctifying Vac. Better. I think I, I'm gonna keep one Bedlam in case we go for a super grindy game. Because <clears throat> it might happen, sometimes it, it's ha it happens. I think I'm just going to take out one spike. <clears throat> so, Dragon Claw, you can do it. Uh, I think that's not too bad of a hand, but I think we can do better. Sure. I really need Dragon's Claw. That's going. That's where. That's that is what I'm going to fetch pretty much. So everything that makes me look for more cards, I'm just going to keep it. Okay. Uh, boom. Buff. Lightning Bolt is really good. I'm going to keep that. So land go. Oof, okay. That's uh it's a good start. And land land. Whisper. Okay, we're gonna kill one of them. Uh, I should have waited for uh, like the Golden Guide free trigger before fetching. Like maybe if I didn't want the card on top. Give me a line, Golden Guide. Golden Guide. What are you doing? Oh, Ragavan Burn. Wow. I just got Ragavan. Buy Ragavan. That's why it's not played in burn. Cause you don't deal damage. You don't have haste. If it was a reinforced Ronin where you would have dealt two damage. You pesky monkey. Okay. Alright, spike your face 
and light up. Man, zero lands since the beginning. That's rough. We saw like a lot of cards, even with Goblin Guide triggers. At least my opponent has one card. So we know we're not dead here. Puts Lawrence into hand. Very good sign for us. Now the land. So we're going to have one creature coming back. We've got our land. Swiss Spear. Swing Reno. Just going to say go. Keep my Lightning Bolts for Prowess Triggers next turn. I think we're in really good shape. Unless they have... Um, <clears throat> unless they have um, uh, Sanctifier or Lightning Helix. Gonna protect my Soul Scar Mage. I think it's worth it. Which creature you want? A monkey or a goblin? Okay, do you attack? Do you attack. Trigger. Dragon's Claw. We did it, boys. We did it. Okay, next turn, Dragon's Claw, and it's gonna be. Pretty tough for them to beat us. Well, they can just kill my Swiss Spear, I guess. Yeah, that that works. Go, Dragon's Claw. Give us time. Gain one life. I did it. Gain one life. Always yes, always trigger. I did it. Pasture. <laughs> Infinite value. <laughs> Poof. Revalue. Opponent? Mistress Bubble is under stare. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good one, give us some, giving us lethal. <clears throat> fetch, 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 fetch. Come on, give me my light bolt. Give me my lightning bolt. Alright, beat burn with a pretty good hand game one and a pretty nice dragon's claw game two. Um, let's get to the third round. Alright, round number three. We're on the play. Okay, I think we can manage since we're on the play with the uh, channeler bubble. We have multiple ways of gutting our second land. And we've got a Swiss also. 
I like the hand, even though we don't have our second line. But this deck can actually function on only one line for a couple of turns. Since pretty much everything costs one mana. Actually, I think I'm going to draw it because that's like a draw tube. This survives. And we're still going to have another draw with the bubble, so we might as might get our, a land. <clears throat> see what, what they're playing. What the creature type deck like humans? Goblos. Okay. I think I'm just swinging. Yes. We did it. Uh oh. Okay, so looks like a goblin, but more aggressive. I oh, know, okay, it's combo goblin. Okay. Usually in this matchup, Crash True is really a good card that we have to keep until uh, the later parts of the game. Snoop. Snooperino. We will have the Lyrium next turn. Pretty cool. That's mean. That's like really rude. Fold this because before it becomes a problem. Put that on top. And Delirium is ours. Next turn, we're gonna set up our creatures and then other turn after that to cast everything. Try to win in two turns. <clears throat> we're gonna play the Harbinger. Wagma Mashal. Wagma Mashal. Actually, I know a lot of the goblins because I'm playing Krenko in um in Commander. So I know a lot of things about the goblins. Saw that coming. Bolt your face. Grave. We just need like instant sorcery, so we're really looking for lava dart for uh for next turn. <clears throat> Crash room mana fours are really good starts, but like lava dart is really what's going to help us win.
Snoop. Snooperino. Okay, Swiss Beer is not a bad one. So many triggers. Trigger. Surveil. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to keep that. Red, red. Spike your face. That should be good, I think. Uh, sure, I guess we can put it on top, but I don't think it's going to matter. Like, it, just in case something goes wrong here, we are going to have that option. Okay, so Goblos, um, Cosa like a Returno, a Bredo, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Like, Pirate Spell Bomb is cute, but I don't think we need it. I think we can cut Bedlam's a bit. We can cut. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I think flame rifts. We really need our creature removal, and uh, flame nerf is not really giving us that. And maybe just like two lava spikes, because I think like the game might be might go long, and if that happens, bedlam is gonna help us a bit. Um, that's a lot of removals. The only problem I see is I don't have a creature. Like, Bolt, a Braid, Lava Dart is, like, really good. And these two, like I said, are, like, really good enablers of, uh, like, winning combo. I think we can try it. it just got, uh, These two are just going to give us time to find our threats. And we're in the draw, we have one more draw. And maybe we still have like two bedlams in our deck, so this is not a bad hand for a bedlam plan. Let go. Uh -huh. That's an annoying creature to deal with. So I think I'm just not going to deal it. Deal with it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Use metamorphose. Red, red. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Dart. Light it up, up, up. Wow. Okay, that's sad. We only have 18 lines in our deck, so feels bad. <laughs> Getting a uh, siege gang lieutenant. Maybe I should play Goblins on the channel. It's really a cool deck. 
thing is, it's not really uh, the best deck right now. But it's a very cool deck. Okay. Sure have a lot of lines. I'm gonna take it for now. Okay, cause last return, please. All right. Guess that's uh, a guy that could help me surveil a bit. Ah, uh, that's fine. We've got Unbraid. Uh... Guess we can put it on top. I'm just gonna take four. So you go. Now they have the munitions expert. We can actually load or, uh, lower the goblins count to less than than three. Damn, that's good. Bedlam, please. Man, I, I like so many lines were binned. Oh, my God. Uh, if I put it in the grave, I get delirium. No, I think this, this is how I win this game. So, put it on top. Take two. Play it. Play Crash True. Uh, try to surveil myself into another creature. Okay, I do want that. So, top. Top. Draw. Play this. Pass turn. I'll bolt one of the goblins. Play my bedlam. Hopefully get a creature uh, or artifact. OK, 
Feels bad bolting a goblin. Think I gotta do it. Now they can munitions expert in response to kill one of them. Okay, great. Anyway, I didn't want to draw two, so I think I'm going to grave this as well. Okay, I think we're getting back into the game. It was pretty long, but we were patient, and hopefully it's gonna it's gonna help us. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> oh my God. This deck is kidding me. Ah. Kiki Jiki. Okay. That's really good. They can just kill my Dragon Rage or my Bedlam if they want to. Kill the Dragon Rage, sure. Okay, got something at the very least. Okay, we have a game. Opponent looks like they drew a lot of lands also. Feels bad for them. One of our best top deck. Playing for lethal, they need to block. Okay, take one, they have one card, we've got a board, and they can see. Alright, I think my opponent were pretty unlucky uh, from their draw, draw a lot of line also. We also had like really a lot of line on top of our library, but we like prevented a lot of them with our Dragon Rage. So that was a huge game for Dragon Rage, pretty much carried me all game. So nice, let's go to round number four. All right, round number four on the play. Ooh, that's a greedy keep, but I want it so much. Man, imagine if I draw my second line, this hand is just like I win on turn three for sure. Well, maybe turn four. I think I... Honestly, if I never draw my second line, I think I might still have a chance, depending on what my opponent is on. 
but they didn't lo reveal lures, so maybe they have not a million removal. What? Turn one, Soul Scar Mage, turn two, Soul Scar Mage, potentially Swiss Spear, turn three, Swiss Spear, Lava Dart, Lava Dart, Sack Lava Dart, Sack Lava Dart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, bubble. So Chalice of the Void on zero on one, we lose the game, and that's pretty much it of that. Okay, so please no Chalice, please no Chalice. Okay, 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 okay. Swiss beer, Swiss beer, go. Now, they're gonna... Mm, mm, uh, thought Nuts here? Oh, they don't have... Oh my god. They didn't. <laughs> okay, we just win now. I think that's lethal. <clears throat> oh my god, that's so lethal. That's so much lethal. Oh my god, that's so gross. That is so gross. I swing for 21 damage. On turn 4. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we got greedy because they could have had like Chalice and stuff, but we didn't know they were on Etron. Okay, so... <clears throat> Etron, Etron. That's a rough matchup, I think. Need the moons. I uh, think that's it. I think we can keep this because even if they play Chalice, we can play our spells and potentially play the Bedlam. But I do still think I want to drop like the Lava Spikes, like some couple of one mana spells. Um, maybe. Uh, like, Crash Through was good this game, but I don't think it's going to be that good, like, overall. Yeah, that's a key for sure. We've got the moon, we've got creatures. Like, the moon is really huge. Of course, if they have Chalice, it's going to be rough, but the moon helps us. Like, they could have two temples and a Thought Nuts here on turn two, but... Can't really play around that. We are Munred after all. Okay, that's fine. Okay, both of us is gonna have hate. That's that's fine. We have hate. I'm just gonna fetch to filter my deck a little bit. Nice mountains you have there. So many mountains. Karn! Oh my god. What are you grabbing? I mean, almost no matter what they grab, it can't be that bad. Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, bolt. Start. And kill the Karn. <clears throat> Pass turn. Nice. Let's see if they draw their fifth land. They don't. Nice. Oh, yeah. 
that's a lot that's a mountain too guess I'm just gonna blood moon number two for one more damage <clears throat> nice no lines again you draw a lot <laughs> Oh my god, what is this game? Are we just going to hit our opponents for lethal? I mean, eventually we're either going to draw land. But we might draw Braid eventually also. Urza Saga. Okay, now I see they have Urza Saga in hand, so not does not technically counts as a land. Sure, they can Ratchet Bomb my Moons or my Soulscar Mages. Have um. Still have all my bedlams in my deck, so can draw one, like hard cast it. I draw a braid also, can be very good. La zone, that's a mountain. Come on, bedlam. I have six cards in my deck that are really good. Have to draw them before they destroy my moons. That's a bedlam. Aw, oh, come on. Literally the turn that I was going to cast it. Okay, that's a that's a braid, so. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, they're taking my braid. Okay, taking my Morphos. Sure. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Damn, they had so many creatures in their deck, in their hand. <clears throat> All right, let's go to game three. <clears throat> um. Ratchet bomb, I've got it going on. Mole. Okay, keep this. Hey, Stacy, do you remember when you dropped that bomb? Sack that bomb. Ratchet bomb. Waiting for so long. You don't know what I'm saying, by the way. It's uh, MTG Remy. Pretty cool uh, channel. 
because that's free, so might as well put it on top. Oh my god. Okay, just click through that again. Come on, I need to land. I have an extra look with my channeler creep. Nice. Uh, let's stop this. I still don't have the Larium. Oh, because they exiled my creature, that's why. I was not sure why. Okay. We have a 3-3, three, three. that's a pretty huge clock. Tomot script. That's really annoying. I think I made a mistake here. One, two, three. Yeah, I should just play my land and like, because now it costs eight. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad play. My part might cost me the game. Okay, that's a good one. Costs a lot. Ashton. Ah, thought not here. No, my bedlam. <sighs> Damn, I think I'm just going to lose because of my mistake. Bam. Chalice and Basilisk Collar. Bam. I think I, I lost the game because of my mistake. Maybe not. They still had like a lot of stuff. They would have had like Thalnauts here anyway. The Pretty much. And they would have taken like my upgrade so I wouldn't destroy the first one. Yeah, I think uh, still pretty huge mistake that uh, that was pretty dumb. All right, let's get to the last round, see if we can get a little 3 2. All right, final round. Uh, opponents on Lurse. We've got Bubbles, Whisper. No Lightning Bolt. But if they are on Lurse, they could have like the RC or Ragavan, which those darts deal with. I think we can keep this. Okay. 
Nice. Nice top deck. A thought sees. I mean, my hand doesn't really does not really care about thoughtsies at all. So, <laughs> this is like a redraw. Of these both really don't care, and the spike like counters the thoughtsies anyway. So, okay, go. Interesting game. Currently have <clears throat> ten, 10 points of burn. Okay. Nine points of burn. I think they're on shadow, so don't really want to give them less life but i think uh really want to cast this light up okay they have only one card um they played a croxa here we just discard the lava dart Sure. Uh, I think I can let it connect, honestly. Just I need my lines. Metamorphose. Okay. Okay, nothing in hand. Okay, that's pretty good for next turn. Uh, but I think I don't want to use my dart. Uh, let them cast a crux if they want to. I'm just going to discard my dart. Take three. Really looking for my third line, which I didn't get so far. Maybe I just discard my soul scar mage. Yeah, I think it's soul scar mage. Because I want all of my burn, basically, to just end the game like that. If I draw a land, I just win the game. With burn. My land. Okay. Um, don't really want to take four, so I think I'm just going to spike. Say go. End of turn. Uh, no, actually, I'm just going to discard the lava spike. Uh, lava dart. 
Thoughtseize. Okay, they can't really cast a Thoughtseize. They can if they want to, but they're taking three. And if they do that, I win the game. Rag ban. Okay, let's discard. That's rough. I think we discard Flame Rift. And Lavadar the Ragavan. Then, or we Lavadar this, Log the Ragavan. Because they might have a counter spell in hand. But Lava Dart is a little more awkward to counter. <sighs> What's the best plan? I think, yeah, maybe, f I think it's just Flame Rift, probably the best way we win this game, but it's pretty close. Okay, that works. Discard this. Go to blocks, plug the Ragavan. Shadow. Bam. Uh, bolt. Oh, Bolt is gonna do it. And, yep, yeah, let's... I, uh, path. And I was really not thinking that they had a shadow in their hand. I was really thinking that they had a counter spell. Because I think they would have played the shadow one turn earlier. And we know they just top deck the Thoughtseize, so it just feels wrong to me, but it's not really playing like they had a shadow in hand. Okay. Now Think crash through out and like. I think we need we need this game by like burning them, so uh, we kind of need our burn. Just like morphos and one spit line. Mm, Sure. We're playing a little more like slowly, but maybe this bedlam is gonna help us. And a uh, light of the stage is really huge. Bone mulligans to five, really good for us. Because the less cards the opponent have, better. Because it means like every time they inquisition us, they like lose a lot of the their resources sure we have really two good cards here so let's see which one they want Okay. Moon is very nice. We just top decked it. Okay, let's exile the Thought Seas and say go. Not gonna cast any spells for now. They want a shadow, they need to fetch up for it. And if they fetch up for it, we have a blood moon. Okay. 
I think I'm just gonna crack my Soul Guy Lantern to really try to get that land. And Blood Moon should win us the game. Well, maybe not, but it's like really going to hurt them. Okay, um, bubble. Damn. I think they're not expecting the Blood Moon. I'm just gonna say go. We might just like fetch for another shock here. Just for colors. Nice. So drawing the the not drawing the land was actually not too bad because they would have their black. Okay, so really they're getting a lot of value out of this. But if we can uh like play this blood moon, should be good. Ah, oh, Inquisition, no. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I think we just bolt down. It's turn it's time to cast our burn spells. And like make this bedlam a little little more easier to cast. They're thinking about it. It's between a what they took the spike. Wow. Okay, they has spell spears. I mean, pretty sure they have spell spears now. It's like really, pretty much obvious. Pretty obvious. Okay. Then I'm just gonna ignore the blood moon. Well, I cannot cast it anyway, so. So we have four instant sorceries in, in our graves. Bone shot for nothing. Like, and tilling us, they have spell pierce for sure. Yep. Uh, grave. Yo, do I have lines in, in this deck? I literally, like, we're at turn 5. I had Soul Gun Lantern as an extra draw, Mishra's Bubble. Um, no lines drawn. This cost three. Perfect. I think I'm just playing this, and next turn I play Bedlam. That way they don't have counter spells. Okay, so Mad Bedlam would have been countered anyway. If they have a bolt, we're dead.
Okay. It's just a free spell. Nice. Resolves. Okay. So, play this, say go. We're going to have to block. Okay. Close, close one. Opponent mulligan to five. Didn't, didn't uh, help us. We just couldn't slam the Blood Moon. Never got the chance. Okay. All right, final game with this deck. We're gonna keep. All we need is our Sunscar mates to survive, and our hand is really good. If it dies, we're in trouble. Because sometimes they might just not kill the creature. Usually you won't like to Inquisition the second creature before it's going to be played, and then kill the first one. So if they have an Inquisition over a removal spell, they're going to go for Inquisition, but we have two light up the stage. So our hand is like Inquisition proof. So I'm really hoping they're going to Inquisition me and not kill the Soul Scar. Oh my god. All the turns, they all, they're all are like they always had Inquisition. Now they had push first. Yeah. Like most players, if they had a thought seize first, they would have just went for <gasps> We did it, boys. Don't tell me you have spell pierce. And usually they don't play basic island. So this calling turn is a mountain. Usually they don't play basic island. Pretty sure. Yes. This calling turn is a mountain. Everything is a mountain. Nice. That top deck though. Aw, oh, Ragavan. Just get out of here. Oh, they just had the basic swamp. And a Ragavan. Why? Why would you do that to me? Okay, at least they got one of our lines. They they have their colors, but the blood moon still hurts them. Because they cannot do multiple spells of one color in a turn. Expressive, sure. They just use their blue for the turn. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got a bedlam next turn. Hmm. 
No. Okay. We don't have a bedlam next turn. Unless we draw a land. Or Metamorphos. Yeah, Metamorphos. Come on, land. Lavdirt. Um just gonna grave this. Have to swing. I'm gonna have to lava jar the Ragavan. One, two, three, four. So if I still get a land, I can still cast one, uh, two, three, four. Yeah, I can still cast my bed line. So we're still fine. And they probably won't be able to counter. Sure. Okay. So if I get a land or another instant sorcery in my grave, I'm good. Uh, let's grave this. Shadow. Okay, that's that works. I should have put down top since it's a land. Okay, got it anyway. Okay, um let's play let's play Swiss beer. Pestern. I think we're in pretty good shape. Still have a lot of burn in our decks, so we could just potentially draw it. Um, really afraid of a terminate like they played last game on my Bedlam. They attack. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh no, okay, no attack. Okay. Uh, let's love spy Q trigger. I'm not going to attack here. I just want to trigger, and I don't want them to make me discard a card. So might as well use it right now. Grave this. And they have, they need to have a removal spell for this. So pass. Okay. They need to have a removal spell for Dragon Rage. Okay. Just gonna take it. 
doesn't really matter. If I go to four. Okay, they had it. Oh, okay. Got a block. You have another removal spell. That's three unholy heat, by the way. That's like really gross. That they got all their red removal spell that can kill my creatures. Okay, can I get something? Yeah, that's really unfortunate. My opponent just got the nuts, honestly. Three unholy heats in 17 cards, where it's like my my only way. It's pretty much the only way to lose to win this game. Is like getting all of these, and I just mean not drawing anything. All right, uh, that was a that was a rough one, also. Uh, Swiss spear. Okay. We. Our bolts were pretty far. <laughs> All right, let's go for a small wrap up. All right, so uh, two three. It's not too bad. Um, I think we've got a, we had like a lot of unlucky moments and a lot of lucky moments. <laughs> so a lot of uh, ha uh, up and down in this league. Um, I think we've got a, like a lot of unlucky moments where we drew like so many lines where we're when we are an 18 line deck and we had like a lot of triggers of putting lines into our grave. Um, but the deck was uh, pretty fun. If you're looking for a budget version of like prowess, I think this deck is pretty good. The only thing is, I don't think uh, playing like the advantage of playing moon over just red white prowess. Uh, is worth it right now. I think I would just play the Red Rock Prowess to have like Path, Force Charm, uh, access to white spells, Prismatic Ending, Path, uh, Luris. Luris is a really important one. I think Bedlam is pretty cool of a card, but you see, you can see sometimes it's pretty clunky. Uh, like I think we have better options right now in Modern, but the deck is still a lot of fun. And maybe next time I will I would uh, like play metagenic growth and yeah that's pretty much it so a lot of fun we've got a uh, good wins and honestly some of our losses felt really bad uh, but that's fine that's magic you know so really appreciate thankfully uh, for the nation and I'll see you guys in another video see ya bye bye guys.